Okay guys, yes, we are back with more fighting game content. Uh, there's been a lot of it recently, um, but it's all working out well, and that's just kind of because the channel works off what's happening right now, and there's a lot more fighting game stuff that's happening right now than other things, so you're going to see a bit of that, at least for the next week. Uh, it might slow down at some point, we'll see. So, what we're here to do today is talk about Street Fighter, as usual. Um, my favorite fighting game series and right now we're talking about street fighter 6 and dlc because akuma is coming out at the time of recording this he'll be coming out in a few days this should be out by the time he has not come out yet I, i'll probably put this out before he comes out now is around the time because he's the last one for season one uh to discuss what season two dlc could be now this tier list uh this concept i haven't i've done before through a top 10 list it was a bit rigid because i'm realizing the top 10 kind of made me a bit limited in how i could like help you guys perceive what i'm hoping for instead it was just kind of like i had to pick a number one i had to pick a number two where i feel like especially considering the seasons are given at least four characters it's not i think the best way to interpret how you know, what DLCs could be put in later on. So I decided to go with the tier list system just because I think it works better based on how they're going to be releasing the characters. So here I, I split up the characters. I found a tier list of all Street Fighter characters that have been in the series since Street Fighter 5. It didn't include Street Fighter 6. Obviously, it wouldn't make any sense because, I mean, we all the new characters in Street Fighter 6 are obviously in Street Fighter 6. So they're not here, but this is all the characters that are already in. And these are all the characters I chose not to put into the candidates, candidates list of characters that I'm even going to bother talking about. Some of these are obvious reasons, because they're just not great. Others is because I'm pretty sure they're perma-dead or the thing they're related to are perma-dead. And some of them are just not great. And some are just not my preference. So if you see a character here that you're like, what? I mean, I'm sure I have my reasons. I'm not going to go into it, but they're not here for the most part. Uh, people could say something about like, I don't know. There's tons of characters. Like, you, you could talk about Oro. Oro's not my thing. You know, you could talk about, I don't know, Vega. Vega, for me, because Bison's dead, I don't see Vega or Balrog showing at all. Relento, I mean, I'm not a fan. There's just the tons of different reasons that I've decided, okay, I'm going to leave these characters out. So it's not going to be every character in Street Fighter uh, history that we're going to be talking about that's been playable. It's just the ones that I'm bothering to talk about that because I'm interested. So that leaves the list kind of easy to do within the right amount of time because I don't want this video to be too long. And then you get the perspective here of what characters are in. So whatever you see here, you can then, I'll delete this tier later. You can then see in comparison of what we have, what Street Fighter may hopefully Street Fighter 6 will look like. Now, another thing is Street Fighter 6 does bring in a lot of new characters because even with the DLC, we got Aki, and we've had a bunch of new characters in the starting roster with Manon, with Lily, with Marissa, so I expect Street Fighter Six to continue that. So when I look at this tier, of wherever people are, also imagine that while they may look small in certain sections, especially in the upper area, I expect to see a lot of new characters. I'm not a huge guest character fan, personally, myself. I like it you know, guest characters I feel like get a bit too wild sometimes for me. So I like Street Fighter creating more lore. And by doing that, they have to implement more characters. So I'm looking forward to more new characters as opposed to guest characters. Regardless, we're working off neither of those. We're working off the characters that pre have existed. So out of those, we got the tier won't but imagine, which is basically... It's not probably the most feasible thing. It's it's most likely not going to happen at all, but imagine what they would look like in Street Fighter 6. Then we got maybe, maybe, maybe. Then we got cool. These would be cool options. Then we have a community area, which I think was important because I know a lot of people in the community will have their own opinions uh, like collectively, and then everyone has their own individual opinion. I think of like I can think of like two or three characters that I'll put in this tier that I think generally the community like does band together and be like these characters should be in here. Some of them I agree with, some of them I'm like they're not really my thing, but we'll get into that when we get to that. Then I got the please section. The please is basically the most subjective area. This is the part where it's my top five or top four or whatever it is. Deserve respect is like 
the ones that I think are no-brainers, they're definitely in my top 10 or somewhere close to that, but they're not like as subjective. This is the one where like community, in my opinion, like merged together kind of, and we all kind of just agree these characters should be in here. So let's start with Sean. Sean deserves respect. Sean's a good place to start. Sean definitely has to be here. Then we have Seth. Seth, I'm going to put in won't, but imagine. I think Seth would be interesting to see in Street Fighter VI. I'm going to put them in... They won't be in it, but imagining it would be really cool. Sakura... Sakura, I'm going to put in cool. I'm going to put Sakura in cool. Yeah. Not really my cup of tea. I don't think the community will die for Sakura. I mean, they probably will. We'll see, we'll see. But for now, I'll put her in cool. <clears throat> Sagat. Sagat, I'm going to put in cool. Uh, I think we've seen Sagat a lot, and Sagat is one of those old characters. There's a reason I don't have, like, Gokin and stuff. It's just because, unless you're Akuma, I feel like some of that era of, like, old characters, like Sagat and Bison, we can cycle them out. I know people are like, well, what about Ryu and the heroes? It's like, yeah, but they're the heroes. You know what I mean? Like, world warriors, I think they go, they're timeless, but these are kind of it's hard like i don't really see i i wouldn't complain for sagat but i don't think sagat should be put in early on cody cody is 100 percent in please he is not deserve respect because he's been in street fighter 5 he's been in street fighter 4 he's been in alpha 3 he doesn't need to be in more games but i am not complaining i want him to be in more games i'm gonna put him in won't but imagine because he is dead and i feel like Loki may have ruined his character. Oh, okay, Dan. Dan goes into community. Dan is the first character that goes into community. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious. Everyone can kind of see that coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just goofy. He he doesn't need to be good. He doesn't need to be good. It's just having him there makes the game fun. Everyone likes having a bit of a joke character in, in their games. It doesn't hurt. It helps with, like, normie, you know... And when I say normie, I I want to say this politely, like the norm, the normal audience. It gets it gets them to still be invested into the game and have fun, which I think is important. Um, Q Q, I'm gonna put in cool. Um, yeah, I prefer him over G. I know like the theory is that they're the same. Um, I want Q to be in the game. G is not really my speed. Q is pretty cool though. <laughs> Q is kind of cool. And it, he's weird cool. The the detective coat and the in the fedora and the mask and the gloves. I don't know, just something about him I like. I like it a lot. C Viper. C Viper deserves respect. And I will say this once, Capcom, because SNK has a character that is just like this, and they just like this, and they never let her go. Vanessa, red hair, is a mom, secret agent, come on, <laughs> like, bring her back, let her be a mainstay, because I feel like, while she's not as popular as, say, like, Jury, I mean, it's, I think it's a good character, I think it's a good character that makes sense, I'm gonna put him in won't, but in Street Fighter 6, wow, uh, the ice and fire that's gonna come out of this man is gonna, would, would look beautiful, I also think his character sprite, like, his actual, like, look in hyper realism would look amazing so part of me wants to put him like higher but i'm, I'm gonna put him in won't but imagine yeah so in my in my <laughs> in my top 10 i had mentioned that i feel like it would have been a bad idea considering luke and ryu to bring another main character from a street fighter game in but then if you think about it rishi was also a main character from street fighter 5 i still think i should put him in maybe i don't think putting him higher would be but mm, yeah I'll, I'll keep him maybe I'll keep him in, maybe. Elena, I'm going to put deserve respect. Deserve respect, barely. Barely. I think please is probably the more accurate part, because I don't think the community is particularly sold, but um, not everyone in the community, but I think Elena does deserve to be here. I think deserve respect. On the low end, deserve respect for sure. Hakan. Hakan would be cool. He would be cool. I think it'd be cool. I, I like the, um, I don't know, I just like the design, demeanor. It'd be cool because Honda and him are friends, so, sure. Dudley, I'm going to put in deserve respect. I'm going to put him right here, though, because he has, I mean, to be fair, he hasn't showed up since Street Fighter 4, but Sea Viper has only shown up in Street Fighter 4. I know there's, was it Cross Tekken? Uh, did she show up there? There was, a, there was a crossover game where she did show up there as well. 
but I'm not counting that. Uh, strictly Street Fighter games. She's only ever been in one, and so is Sean, unless you count New Generation, and but then Super Street Fighter 4. So, yeah, you get the idea. Essentially, they've only been in one game. So I'm going to put them at the top. Laura. Laura. <laughs> I'm going to put Laura in, please. I think she's at the... Is she at the bottom of please? She's in please, though. She's in please. I really want Laura to be in game. I really want Laura to be in game. Because technically, she's also only ever been in one game. But is she as beloved as, you know, these two? No. But, I, you know, given the absence, I think people will start missing her a bit. I hope. <laughs> I already do. I think there's, there's something fun about the... Um, I don't know, just, just having another grappler. Personality that comes with Laura, let's put it that way. Guy. Now, here's the problem with Guy. I want to put him in, like, the very bottom of cool. Maybe even a maybe because his student's already there. Kimberly already does take up Guy's spot. And I was thinking about it, I was like, bro, it's a, it's a ninja in Jordans. And then I was thinking like, wait, but that is, Kimberly literally is that. So it, it, she, it, she is guy, she is guy. So maybe I should just keep him in maybe, but I think he deserves to be on this list. So he's here or on this tier list. So he's here, but he's, he's like right here. You know, we don't have enough big bodies. We don't have enough big bodies. In fact, I'm going to put him up there. I'm going to put him up there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Poison, I'll put her in, please. Ibuki, oh, people hate Ibuki. People hate Ibuki sometimes because I feel like she's just been in too many. But I like Ibuki, so I'm going to put her in, please, at the very bottom. Uh, at the very bottom, though. I'll put her right here. Right here. I think Cody's the coolest by far. Uh, Laura's only ever been in one. These two, I mean, they've been in every game so far since their first appearance so yeah this since new generation and this since street fighter 4 they just haven't missed an appearance so technically they're lower priority but oh man if that that'd be great monot monot's in community i'm gonna put you in cool more grappler sure armika i feel like does Armika have like aside from like the the obvious? Does Armika have like something special? Like, cause Laura has lightning, Hakan has like the oil stuff. I don't think Armika really has much, so I'm gonna put her here in cool. Um, that would make her like super unique. So I'll leave it at that. Rose, Rose would be cool. Uh, I'm gonna put Rose here. Why not? Uh, she's been a lot. She's been a lot. She hasn't missed an appearance as well. I think. Well, I no, she, she wasn't in Street Fighter Three. She was in Alpha. So I guess so. But she's also been four and five. So yeah, I put Rose right here. And then in Community, obviously Makoto. I'm not a huge Makoto fan, but. You know, sure, I've always been more of the Ibuki dude, but Makoto also hasn't shown up in a game since uh, Third Strike. Uh, no, since 4. She was not 4. Pretty sure she was in 4. Yeah, if I remember correctly. So, you know, to each own. But, yeah, I think that is that for the candidates. Let me delete this row here. So, that is the list. Pretty quick, actually. Pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, if we had to look at the list here, in terms of what i want for dlc number two like season two of dlc uh c viper 100 percent. hugo c viper dudley these three are probably the most important to me i feel like sean could be elena i'm not huge priority on but if any of these three don't make in the game i feel like it'd be sad these three 100 percent. you know what oh, man sean is really important but i'm gonna put him here because that's kind of how i feel I feel like these three, I have to see them. I have to see them as DLC. A hundred percent. These three have to be. <laughs> yeah, Dudley included. I was going to say maybe just these two because at least had two appearances. I don't care. Yeah, Hugo, Dudley, and, and C Viper. A hundred percent. Out of please. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I'm going to give Gil even another shout out. Gil, honestly, if he could just squeeze in here, that would be sick. <laughs> this would be sick sick oh my god like the akuma situation where the last character is like some what the like mind-blowing like what but it's too early it's too early and if if they were gonna do it which i don't think they will but 
god damn imagine gil with his fire and his ice in street fighter he looks so good in street fighter 5 in street fighter 5 he was so fun like just seeing his stuff he was playing so well and i was like dude imagine this guy in street fighter 6 god damn these ones they're already they they kind of have gotten their attention from street fighter uh from capcom except for maybe like be laura I, I don't know i don't know i was thinking like maybe that's not true because it, it is a little recent but i don't know i guess like, we'll, we'll see we'll see how capcom feels about laura given given time right because it's still really early we it's it's only been like a little over a year since street fighter 5 has completely been finished so we're, we're still gonna need to see need to see some time um and not 100 percent. i think honestly if i were to give like the community what they wanted Manat would probably be up here like this would be kind of cool i would guess yeah this would be kind of cool as a roster right here like if this was season two i think my mind would actually explode con q sagat i don't know what they do with sagat's design honestly i think looking at akuma they'd have to take a different direction with it and then armika i mean actually when was the last time we saw armika she was in five wasn't she oh okay yeah no i just realized yeah so i don't even know i mean armika really there's no there's no huge necessity for alex i already said my things about alex very very quickly but main character central i think alex plays cool as a character i like his uh dive bomb in street fighter 5 so that was pretty cool honestly my favorite version of alex by far is what he looked like in third strike his actual look is i don't know what it is about street fighter 5 he just doesn't it doesn't i'm not sold I'm not sold on how he looks. He looks it looks a bit too not for me. I don't know what it is, but in third strike, oh yeah, dude. I, it's just third strike. There's something about it, the design and stuff. Like, God, his sprite looks so cool. With the overalls too, I don't know what it is, but the way he just grabs you, it's it's cool. It's a cool character. Unfortunately, he's not very good. So, but I would honestly put him like up here. If it wasn't for the fact that like we already have Luke and I feel like Luke does pretty, despite what people may say here and there, I think Luke does pretty well as a main character. So, yeah, this is the roster. I mean, if it were up to me, I'd have C Viper here. I'd have Hugo here. I'd have Dudley here. And then, I don't know, uh, eventually, you know, you can bring my boy Cody. And you can bring Laura. And then you can bring, you know, you can bring Poison. You can bring Ibuki. We can have Manon. Dan can be in there. Why not? Okay, I'm getting a bit crazy, but... You, you get what I'm you get where I'm going with this but yeah that's that's the list that's the list um let me know down below who you guys would have added from here I know a lot of people have their own opinions and that's totally valid you know I always get flack for my opinions and that's totally fine that's why I do this but uh do do be do be aware I did ignore some characters on purpose 100% because there's no way you're telling me you want Fang or you want Abel be serious now <laughs> okay if i see anyone going like oh man i really want 11. actually you know what uriel is one character that low-key because of his barrier and stuff you could put him here you could i think this dude's weird though this dude is so weird i do not like him as a character but play style I mean, it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. I definitely could see some people complaining and wanting Oro because he, gameplay-wise, you see something. He's something sick. Um, if I hear any Remy's, you're nuts. Uh, Zeku, there, okay, actually, there's a plenty of, like, ninjas. Um, and Arison, I all, oh, by the way, I'm just going to throw it out there before the video ends. I know somebody's going to mention these two. I hate them. I think Jamie's the better version of both. That's I know that's a lie. That's a lie. He's not a better character in terms of how these two play. However, I don't care. I, I don't want to see these two. They break the game. So I don't want them in there. Um, and also, like design-wise, I think Jamie just looks cooler. But you can't argue with that. You could, but you're wrong. <laughs> um, but in terms of like the ninjas, what I wanted to say... Um, there's a lot of shinobis here. I was almost like tempted not even to put Guy here, but I like Guy too much as a character. So I was like, I will put him here, but in maybe. I already said like, oh, I want to see Ibuki. There's just too many ninjas. There's too many ninjas in Street Fighter. Um, there's also a lot of Shotos. So I try to avoid them as much as I can. I know I said that. And then you see like Sean is right here. But hey, what can I say? All right, that's the list. I'll leave you guys with that. If I didn't miss a character somehow that, again, 
mention it, uh, but there's a lot of characters that I don't, like, off glance, I don't see anyone that was, like, too, too crazy. I know people love this man, but I already said I prefer Q, and I put him instead. But, yeah, that's the list. I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> and uh, if you guys do like tier list, also like and subscribe. And, yeah, I think the next one will also be another fighting game tier list. I can't remember what it was, but it will also be fighting game related. But I promise after that, if you guys are just here for tier list, it won't be a fighting game tier list. I promise. Okay, it will be something different. So I will see you guys in then or the one after that. <laughs> so have a good one. Take care. Peace and goodbye.